today's lesson lithium battery a kind of electrochemical cell in which chemical energy converts to electrical energy let us see schematic diagram of lithium battery a kind of lithium battery which is used in watches and calculators and this is the cell that cannot be recharged so it's a kind of primary cell the cell that can be recharged that is secondary cell so lithium battery is a kind of primary cell because it cannot be recharged in this lesson we are going to learn working mechanism of lithium battery by which in lithium battery chemical energy converts to electrical energy so let us begin lithium battery simply we can show in this way a kind of vessel in which two rods or electrodes are introduced this is the electrode of lithium and another electrode is inserted here this is the electrode of manganese oxide and in this vessel a kind of electrolyte that is lithium perchlorate is taken here as electrolyte in organic solvent organic solvent like carbon tetrachloride benzene etc organic solvents are those solvents which contain carbon in their composition and inorganic solvents are those solvents which do not contain carbon like water water is a kind of inorganic solvent so here lithium perchlorate electrolyte is taken in an organic solvent now these two electrodes are connected with load like this suppose it's a kind of bulb when it is added to bulb or electric load then reaction starts here lithium is a kind of highly electropositive element so first reaction occurs at lithium electrode in this way lithium this is not a specific number variable number of lithium atoms oxidizes to lithium ion releasing x number of electrons in this reaction we see that releasing of electrons which is known as oxidation so this oxidation occurs at lithium electrode and we know the electrode or a oxidation occurs that is called anode so lithium electrode is a kind of anode here we can write reaction at anode 
lithium electrode is a kind of anode because here oxidation occurs then lithium atoms from lithium electrode goes to electrolytic solution as lithium ion leaving electrons at the electrode that means this electrode becomes electronically rich with the passage of the time so it is a denoted by minus charge because here electron density increases with the passage of the time so lithium electrode is a kind of anode which is negative in charge anode because here oxidation occurs negative charge because here electron density increases with the passage of the time now because of the electron electron repulsion electrons move through the wire at one stage electrons cross the filament at the time this bulb will glow that is here chemical energy is converting to electrical energy on the other side these electrons come to this electrode manganese oxide oh yeah manganese oxide receives those electrons which are coming from lithium electrode lithium anode so manganese oxide receives x number of electrons that are produced in lithium electrode with the help of lithium ion that is present in the electrolytic solution in the cell so with the help of lithium ion manganese oxide of this electrode manganese oxide receives electrons that are coming from lithium anode and as a result this is formed lithium x number of lithium atoms here then manganese oxide which is solid here we see that acceptance of electrons is occurring and we know receiving electrons is a kind of reduction reaction so it's a kind of reduction reaction and we know the electrode or a reduction occurs that is called cathode so here manganese dioxide is a kind of cathode so we can say that this reaction is occurring at cathode so at cathode at anode oxidation occurs at cathode reduction occurs as electrons are moving to this electrode to this cathode manganese dioxide so manganese dioxide electrode is denoted by positive charge manganese dioxide electrode is a kind of cathode which is denoted by positive charge because electrons are moving to manganese dioxide electrode that is why it is denoted by positive charge now let us see overall reaction here x number of lithium ion on the right side this is on the left side so this will cut x number of electrons on the right side this is on the left side 
So finally, we can write x number of lithium atom plus here manganese dioxide. On the right side, we get lithium manganese oxide. In this way, lithium battery produces electricity. Here we see that lithium electrode that is anode decays gradually. Lithium atoms goes to the solution as lithium ion. So with the passage of the time it decays. At the same time here we see that lithium manganese oxide is formed over the manganese dioxide. That is here over manganese dioxide, lithium manganese oxide deposits. So, with the passage of the time, it becomes fat at one stage. When lithium electrode is finished, then it stops to produce electricity and it cannot be recharged. This is the mechanism by which lithium battery produces electricity that is conversion of chemical energy into electrical energy. But in some cases manganese dioxide is replaced by silver vanadium oxide. Silver vanadium oxide is used as cathode sometimes. Now let us see what the reactions occur when silver vanadium oxide is used as cathode. Let us see the reactions. When silver vanadium oxide is used as cathode instead of manganese dioxide, then reaction at anode. In this case, seven number of lithium atoms convert to seven number of lithium ions. At the same time, seven number of electrons are produced. When silver vanadium oxide is used as cathode. Now, reaction at cathode. Here, this is cathode that is silver vanadium oxide that receives these seven number of electrons with lithium ions. Then this is formed lithium seven silver vanadium oxide. Here silver vanadium oxide receives electrons that is why this is a reduction and lithium releases electrons that is here this is oxidation. Now let us see overall reaction 7 lithium ion on the right side 7 lithium ion on the left side, 7 electrons on the right side, 7 electrons on the left side. Now, overall reaction 7 lithium atom plus silver vanadium oxide. On the other hand, we get lithium silver vanadium oxide a kind of electrochemical cell in which chemical energy converts to electrical energy. When silver vanadium oxide is used, then this is a kind of lithium battery which is used in heart pacemaker. This is all about lithium battery. Now, today, thank you very much.